Hey guys, welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Today I'd like to bring you a small guide, a more kind of general guide, on advanced Misha, Rexar, advanced control of the pair of them. I, I read a thread, I read a post earlier today on Reddit that is phenomenal. One of the best posts I literally have ever seen on Reddit, particularly in the Heroes of the Storm subreddit. And it basically talks you through some advanced techniques, I'll link it in the description, some advanced techniques for controlling Misha when you're controlling Rexar. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to take some of the condense that down, take some of the more drastic points and put them in a video format so you can really see what, what I'm doing and then how to recreate these yourself. So, to give you the general gist of it, Misha works on direct clicks for movement and attacking, whereas Rexar works more uh, kind of independently when you blur the line between the two. What I mean by that is, is, is if Misha's on follow mode and you click somewhere, Misha will move with you because she'll move to that location, fine. But if you click somewhere and then you attack click somewhere, uh, Misha will sometimes go somewhere else. Obviously, I'm not doing it too hard now, so you're not going to get the full effect of it at the moment. But basically, that's the gist of it. If you if you tell Rexar to attack and move, and Misha just to move, then they will end up splitting, and you can get really complicated, really nice kind of uh, movements between the two. And you can, and you can you can get a very micro intensive game if you get really on top of this, and if you and if you try out if you really get a hold of this and really do it very well. So the first thing I want to talk about is separating Rexar and Misha always, even from, from nothing. And this one's very simple. This one is, is if you right click, Misha will go somewhere, and then if you attack move somewhere else, Rexar will go somewhere else. The leashing mechanic still works. I apparently from what I can see, it works when Misha stops, when Misha's move command is finished, and Rexar's attack and then when that happens, if Rexar's specific distance away, Misha will run to Rexar. So that one just one what quick quick one once more. You right click to where you want Misha to go, and then you attack, which is A and left click, to the position you want Rexar to go in, and then you can move the two independently. Of course this will position them independently, as you can see here, they stay independently. But if you move if you attack move somewhere, it things get very strange. Like, you can attack move to places, and then Misha moves to where Rexar was, and then she hits Rexar, and then things get a little bit weird. But basically, if you want to position them separately, you want to right-click where Misha wants to go, and then attack move left-click where you want Rexar to go. But remember, the leashing distance is still the same. So it's a very nice little, little, little cool little thing that you can do. You can just attack move somewhere, move, and then attack move, and then you can have the two separate. Like that. I'm trying to get it so that Misha stays somewhere. There you go, perfect. It, it can be a little bit fiddly sometimes, like that, like I didn't move yet, all of a sudden she decided to leash. It's a little bit strange, a little bit buggy, but it does work for, the, for some time, and of course you don't really want Misha chilling away from Rexar for far too long. The next one is a little bit more uh, kind of micro intent. They get more micro -intent. That, That's probably the simplest one. The next one is to control Misha whether she runs behind or in front of you, and the distance she does run behind or in front of you. So... If you right-click to move, Misha stays incredibly close to you, as you can see. Misha just sticks on you the whole time, she never really goes away from you, unless you start running for a really long time, and then Misha will get ahead of you some, somewhat, but she'll never really go too far away. So if you right-click on the ground, she'll move close to you, and then, excuse me, will end up being a little bit further in front of you. But if you attack move in that direction, so if you right-click, Misha will eventually get there, but if you attack move in this direction, things get a little bit strange. Now, it's kind of hard to, to kind of put out, but you saw it there. Basically, if you attack move somewhere, Misha will try and follow you, but she'll run behind you, as you can see here. This does get a little bit weird, because this is primarily used for when running away from situations, and of course, if you attack move while running away, you could just stop and start attacking, which is obviously pretty bad. But if you are literally like in somewhere, and you know Misha's going to be annoying and just going to start body blocking you, if you attack move, uh, it's very strange, because as you saw there, I right-clicked before I attack move, and as a result, Misha run there at full speed. But if you just, just attack move somewhere, uh, Misha will follow you just slightly behind. But again, be very careful when using this, because if something does go in attack range, you will stop and attack it. This is mercenaries, minions, or enemies here is that works so this one's a little bit a little bit tricky um, but it's really kind of cool if you do it so this idea is that you run away and command Misha to turn around and then attack things and it uses the same principle as the one uh, as the one we used before the, there's two ways of doing this one of them is significantly cleaner than the other uh, the first one is of course if you move and then quickly right click and then quickly left click Misha will start running away but that is of course uh, fairly micro intensive and it does mean Rexar stops and runs back for a little bit but the tricky one is now I've got the web page up so I'm going to so I'm going to read this out word for word it is move Rexar and Misha by right clicking running away from the enemy right click again just in front of yourself in the same direction you're already running now shift right click behind you and then Misha will go there and then as soon as you get close to where the second right click the one just in front of yourself attack move ahead of you so I ha I've tried to pull this off and it's surprisingly difficult so if you just pull this off you go like that and then 
it gets very complicated. So to break it down, you right click to where you want to go in the first place and then you right click just in front of you and then you shift right click and the idea is that if you move this way and then you do that and then you just do that quickly, Misha, it gets very complicated but basically you want to trigger the second move which is where Misha will move and then just as that move is triggered you want to basically do a attack move with Misha moving separately but if you queue them up properly you can do it without actually kind of having a kind of the interrupt as you did before so as I say, it can get very tricky, but you, it gets really confusing when, when Rexar and Misha hit, because that tends to muck about with pathing a little bit. So uh, things can get a little bit confusing. Oh, hang on, I did that wrong. So, uh, yeah, it, it can be incredibly frustrating to do, but if you can pull it off, it's nice. It's one of those ones where if you practice it, I haven't practiced it anywhere near enough, but so just take it over you once more. You right-click, and then you shift-right-click, and then just as you're about to move, you go like that. And that's how it's done. If you do it perfectly... You won't do that turnaround. I did that a little bit late, and so Misha, um, and so I turned around. But if you do it absolutely perfectly, you will just you'll, you'll get like the tiniest little bit, and then you start moving. So it's much much quicker than doing it the old school way. But you can do it the old school way if you really want to. Basically, what this allows you to do uh, is this, allow and and there, there are a couple of other things where you can apply this. So if I turn uh, bots on, one of the really cool things you can do is you can get Misha to attack things while you stay on your mount. So a couple of other things you can do, which are nice little, uh, nice little tricks, which you can secure some kills and get in really effective situations uh, using these tricks. <clears throat> so using these tricks, you can really get effective situations and a lot more complicated situations that you otherwise couldn't get to. One of them is attacking different targets simultaneously. This one's actually fairly simple. You just right-click the target you want Misha to attack, and then Rexar just goes elsewhere. Like Rex, you can just sit back here while Misha does all the hard work because you can toggle the states between attack and follow uh, depending on what um, you, don't, you don't need to get off your mount so you, so you can just literally sit at the back here and let Misha do all the work and you can cast Men Pet if you want and Misha can just clear a wave while, while you're sitting at the back here like quite a fair distance away quite a nice little thing so a couple of things again, I, have, I really have tried to do and I think I pulled it off once uh, in a versus AI game and none in a real life game is pulling off like a pincer move and it, it's basically using the, the similar technique that I talked about before, where you, where you separate the two of them, like that, and then one of them, it, it works best when uh, Misha is in a bush, because quite often of the time, quite often people will see Misha and think Rexar must be nearby. They won't see Rexar and think, oh, Misha must be nearby. They, they might think that Misha's dead, or whatever, but they won't think that she's nearby. Sorry about this, I don't know what's going on with the frames, but whatever, hopefully it doesn't happen too much. So basically the idea is that if you position Misha somewhere and then you go somewhere else, you're both in a bush or something, again, like, you'll get a better feel for how for how far away Misha can go from Rexar before the uh, before leashing starts to happen. Uh, you can do this on Dragon Knight and stuff like that. If you get really close in the bushes, you can somehow position the two, and then when someone tries to get the shrine, uh, you can just pincer on them and do really, really nice stuff. All kinds of really cool stuff. So that's a really, really good example of it. But yeah, uh, you you could do crazy things with like queuing up abilities so that they both split and then come back in together. Like uh, one of the things that I saw someone someone do which was really cool was like that, that, and then like you did that, and then like Misha does that, and then Misha kind of came in. But of course, I haven't got them enough space in the lane. But if you like, sh if you queue up commands for when you do something, uh, Misha kind of does the weird thing. So if you do that, you can get Misha to run somewhere and then run in at an angle. So if so, say say you're getting the Dragon Knight and say this is the entrance for the Dragon Knight, you can run around. And then send Misha up and like to do this kind of thing. And then just as she gets somewhere, you can move her you can move Rexar in with an attack move. So if Misha goes here and then Rexar goes like over here, they'll both split up like that. And then if you attack the same target, you can both come in from two different angles and really converge on it. Incredibly good for setting off body blocking and stuff like that. You can really get some crazy, crazy moves. Uh, so just try them out. So what I would want what, what I want people to take away from this is there's a lot more advanced techniques than the techniques that you're kind of aware of. There's really crazy things you can do with it. Experiment with attack moving. Attack so basically to summarize it, attack moving will only move Rexar unless what well, if Misha has another command. Um, Misha's commands are the, the obvious commands like attack and move, and they will take priority for Misha over Rexar's commands. So for instance, that's basically summed up in moving and attack moving will split the two. Um, there's a couple of little things that happen weirdly, like if you uh, are doing something where you do something like that and then you swap positions, so you see Misha should be over here but she meets Rexar and then it kind of screws up her pathing a little bit and she just does some weird stuff for a few steps. So if you're doing that and you bump into each other, uh, pathing can get a little bit strange, just just, just, just be, be aware of that, don't try and do too much complicated things when Misha and Rexar are going to butt heads or any other body part. Just keep it, keep it nice and keep it nice and control. And if you queue up abilities, 
uh, or if you queue up moves rather, when you go to initiate them, like so if you queue up uh, that one, and then so that means Misha's going to run over there, and then I can send Rexos to do his own other thing. Uh, she ran into a structure there, like if you hit structures again, anything with a health bar basically, uh, it can screw up what Misha does. But if you send Misha to go and do like crazy stuff like that, and then you send Rexos to go down here, uh, she can just do some really, really cool stuff. So, yeah, you can get really nice pincer movements, and of course she can body block. You can you can send her to clear waves on her own with men pet, just like mana for, for minions, which is always really nice. And do other crazy stuff. Really experiments with it, really, really try it out. Don't give up on Rexos just yet. Uh, the CC he has, combined with a uh, move which I'm kind of trying to take advantage of, which is Aspect of the Beast, blows it by 2 seconds, which is horrific. There are 12 seconds, if you can get 2 basic attacks off, that means it's down to 8, if you can get 2 more, that means it's down to 4 seconds. So she's going to be getting auto attacks off quite a lot, particularly if they're not focused on, and if you take something like um, like Hungry Bear, that's going to be a lot of extra healing. But it does mean you lack CC. So basically, you can really build Rexar in a lot of different ways, so don't give up on Rexar just yet. A build will be found that is incredibly good, I find. I think, rather, and then you'll be able to really take advantage of Rexar, but one of the big things that you're going to have to get good at is really being able to position uh, the two of them independently and really trying to work the best to try and really get some pincer movements off. So, uh, things to make sure that they can't be hit by two skill shots like Piercing Bolt. Like, if that was a Mirrodin instead of an Arthas, there's no way he could have hit me and Misha with a Piercing Bolt, with a Storm Bolt past level 7, which is uh, an incredibly strong thing to be able to, um, to be able to really say. It's really, really useful. Why? Oh no, I'm not clicking the right things. Uh, see, even, even me, I, I've practiced it, I've done it quite a bit, and even I'm having quite a, bit, a, a little bit difficulty actually getting the kind of, the uh, just the logistics of it down, what buttons I actually depressed. But, if you get it down, it's an incredibly strong tactic, I really recommend people try it, and I really recommend people give it a proper go. Again, if you want more detail about this, check out the Reddit, uh, the Reddit link it's in the description. Thanks for watching, I have been Mr. G, I'm really enjoying Rex, I really think everyone should give him a try, and I'll see you next time.